This is Meet the Press with David Gregory. Given the unique power of the state, it is not enough for leaders to say, trust us, we won't abuse the data we collect. For history has too many examples when that trust has been breached. We still occupy the role of the great Satan. Uh, new bombs are being devised. Uh, new, new terrorists are emerging. So no matter what you think of Edward Snowden and his decision to spill secrets about how the government conducts domestic surveillance, he started one big debate. Without him and what he did, it is hard to imagine the president giving the speech he gave this week. Bottom line, the spying programs are here to stay, it appears, but the president says he would like to protect your privacy better. Well, I'm going to have reaction from top voices in Congress and the digital world this morning as we grapple with the future of privacy in America. As we grapple with the future grabble. of privacy in America. What does that mean? I've never heard of that term. And Newt Gingrich, to all of you, isn't it significant that after all the hue and cry, after all these revelations by Snowden, the president has in effect ended this debate by saying, these programs are going to stick around. I need them to keep the country safe, Newt Gingrich. Well, <clears throat> it's a very significant speech in the sense that here's a guy whose bias would be for civil libertarians, but after five years of daily briefings in the White House, has said, you know, the world is really dangerous, and we really need these tools to be safe. And I think it's very hard to imagine fundamental changes in the program against President Obama's wishes. He said, you know, the world is really dangerous, and we really, really, really need these tools to be safe. Oh, really? Who are you trying to keep safe? Just exactly. A lot of division in terms of where to go on this. You had the leaders of the top two, uh, the top two uh, committees, Feinstein and Rogers, come out and say, you know, basically rubber stamp what the president said. Said, but it definitely feels like uh, the the devil is in the details. I was in Congress uh, when 9/11 happened. There was a lot of angst, and I, we need to remind ourselves and be reminded. People were worried that we were not connecting dots. People were worried that there was intelligence and evidence that was not being shared amongst various agencies. That the government was not listening to the people it should have been listening to. So we need to put all of this in context. And I hope when Congress has this debate that someone will play the devil's advocate and make clear. We kill more terrorists using drones. People may not like drones, but it, it, it replaces or it's a substitute for American soldiers being on the ground. What does Robert Gates think about the president's proposed spying reforms? You'll hear his very first response to the president's speech when he joins me later here on Meet the Press. It's all coming up after this break. Meet the Press is brought to you by The Boeing Company. And we're back now to the de The whole purpose of this program is to provide instantaneous information to be able to disrupt any plot that may be taking place. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of the privacy people perhaps don't understand that. We still occupy the role of the great Satan. Uh, new bombs are being devised. Uh, new, new terrorists are emerging, new groups. Uh, actually, a new level of viciousness. A new level of viciousness. A new level of viciousness. And I think we need to be prepared. I think we need to do it in a way that respects people's privacy rights. Well, and well, well, let me make one yeah. other point. When you look at what companies collect, yeah. um, the government does not seem to be a major offender at all. <laughs>